Hello, this is Timo from ProductiveSuperDad.com and today's topic is what is a closed task list. Now, before I start talking about what is a closed task list, I also have to talk about the opposite, uh, what is an open task list. And this is basically the way I used to work earlier. I created a task list for the day and as the day went on, I kept adding new tasks to the list, which means that it was an open task list. Uh, but there is actually one downside to this kind of working and uh, uh, sometimes it's actually very difficult to see if you're making any noticeable progress or not. Because if you keep adding new tasks to the list, uh, you might feel that you are not actually making any progress. Uh, the number of tasks might be the same or at the end of the day you might realize that you have like five or six additional tasks added to the list and that's not of course uh, a good way to work. So rather than having an open task list, try to have a closed list, which means that when you are planning your task list for the day, draw a line under the last task on the list. And uh, when you do this, when you do this very simple thing, what happens is that you are actually realizing that, hey, I, I am making progress on my tasks. You are crossing off those tasks one by one off your list, and uh, then you are making that noticeable progress. And at the same time, you are feeling energized, uh, and uh, the situation is not as stressful as what it would be with an open task list. So you have a certain amount of tasks on your list and then you are actually making progress when you are having a closed task list. Anyway, this is the tip that I wanted to share with you this time. Uh, I, hope you've, I hope that you find it valuable and please uh, share this video and this information on Twitter and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.